Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Right Corner. We got Bonnet starting as the yellow Protoss, bottom right in corner. We got DeWalt starting as the black Protoss. Fighting Spirit Mania once again. This is going to be the opening match of round two. And uh, it seems that it was just kind of a long slog. Uh, it felt like in the end of the first set, uh, what was that, game six? Where DeWalt was able to close it out. It just um, seemed like DeWalt was slowly, slowly... Uh, almost excruciatingly able to kind of encapsulate. I, I don't think I've ever seen a PvP play out like that, actually. I've commentated a long time, and I can't remember when I last saw a PvP turn into kind of a PvZ-ish sort of thing, where there was an encapsulation container around one player and the other player expanding behind it like that. And I actually kind of like the pickup strategy in the space of it. I like the thought. I like the execution as well. Um, interesting to see. I haven't seen it before. And kind of, yeah, interesting. We will see what happens this time. I'm... It looks like both players are going to open up, at least with the gateway opener this time. Although it is a... F well, this might turn into a two-gate from DeWalt. There was the two-gate opening previously. It seems like the two-gates actually from DeWalt have... Uh, more often than not turned into victories one way or the other. Is that correct? Now I'm trying to like... <laughs> Pull my memory from what's going on uh, uh, from the from the past. I think that's correct, but anyway, uh, looks like there was a bit of lag that they're clearing out. <clears throat> Shouldn't be that. Uh, yeah, looks like it is going to be a two gate opener, and also a two gate from Vertical Spawn. And uh, or sorry, it's Bonneth going for the two gate and going to scout Dewalt first. I'm not going to say this is an auto win for Bonneth right here, but this is certainly. I think the. I'm trying to think whether whether or not he's gotten an advantageous uh, horizontal or ver uh, vertical engagement like this for his two gate overall. Now the next question is, is DeWalt get the scout? Unfortunately, DeWalt going to the left hand corner first. So he's going to end up short an initial scout, which is going to give a lot of opportunity for Bonneth uh, to be really frustrating with these probes. He's already softening up some of the probes along that gas line. Uh, which could be a big factor because that's a big exposure point when those zealots come in, keep in mind. Pro backing out right the second zealot, blockading the ramp just in case. And we are, in fact, going to see the three zealot dedication, the fold back <clears throat> from there. Seven and X score uh, warping in along that back edge. And the probe's still looking for it. And this is a full health probe too. So keep in mind, that's going to be uh, an aspect and a factor. And these three zealots are going to be on their way before... DeWalt even has a clue. He's queued up a second zealot, actually. So he might be only the three zealot defense in the space of this. And we have seen the three zealot defense actually work out really, really well for DeWalt. And actually put him economically ahead in the space of a lot of these builds. He does need to have the wherewithal to position and blockade the ramp as a second question. This probe, I think, is going to find that two gate. And two more zealots are actually queued up. Is this the, the response now from Bonneth? <clears throat> so two gate spotted. A probe coming alongside to create some harassment at the very last second. Dragoon is being produced, so it wasn't three zealot. It is just going to be the probe along. And this is where that probe, yeah, able to open things up a bit, shifting back around and also able to push the defensive probe off the corner. This zealot getting mostly cream. One zealot down, though, and the probe re-entering the Dragoon now. Never mind, that zealot's still alive. How did that zealot survive? That was one of Bonnet's zealots that went down. Okay, and was that a clean? Okay, was that a clean cover? We got one zealot left, but two more zealots are now making their way to continue this. And this zealot with zero health, gonna run back up, immediately get slotted, and die. But Dewalt actually in a pretty good economic position right this second as these two zealots are entering. Is this dragoon actually in a dangerous situation where it can't get? It could get pinned in that back corner and now Bonneth going to work on the probe lines that zealot able to get a kill as it dies nice work thus far and continuing the damage here another probe kill uh, are we gonna see three now this is starting to get ugly looks like the zealots are gonna get cleaned up but really uh so what is that it's five zealots but still a two worker lead at the end of all this and I think a supply lead regardless Two Dragoons were making their way down for Bonneth as well. I think that was because they were actually rallied forward. And is Bonneth going to get faster? Was range queued up for DeWalt at all? Or was range even... Is he skip... Did he skip range? Second gateway already down, by the way, for DeWalt. 
in the space of this. So he's going to go two gate into Nexus. DeWalt hesitant. He's going to go ahead and go two gate Robo in response. The secondary question, I don't, I'm not sure. I wasn't paying enough attention to see whether range was finished or not. Uh, that was a long, long delay. He actually might end up with a range advantage, which would be very, very difficult for DeWalt to hold the low ground. Probe making its way forward. Gets picked, it got picked off, was able to spot right there. A bit of damage. Nexus. So this is going to be a big economic lead for DeWalt. Nexus already halfway there. And are we going to see a third gateway out of Bonneth? So holding with two gate robo right this second, maybe just wants the obs. He's got a four worker lead though. That four worker lead should get negated because that it's definitely going to get negated as that Nexus comes online. But what about the, it looks like it's actually going to be even as far as Dragoons at the end of the day and range just starting with a Citadel of Dune. This is actually where it would have been bad because DeWalt, I don't know if this was something he forgot or this was an intent. I think I have to presume this was an intentional build skip, but just now getting range. And now the question is, does Bonneth realize it with the, the probe that's coming in? And I kind of like the turnaround to get DTs. Observer uh, is going to be there to help deal with it. Robotics facility as well. The probe going all the way across the six o'clock location to get this intel, by the way. I, I think it'll be a blockade, but... Unfortunately for Bonnet, fortunately or fortunately for DeWalt, unfortunately for Bonnet. Six o'clock uh, pylon blockade there. Range not getting tested. So DeWalt potentially could get away with this. And range might finish before. Well, I don't know. This is, we got a, a way. So the probe gets wiped out. We got some time here. So Templar Archives is going to kick up. I don't think that's going to be as much of a factor. We got range two thirds finished. And I think Bonneth is going to go, and I have a feeling he's going to hit the front with the Reaver alongside before DeWalt, potentially before DeWalt has range. Yeah, he's moving out right now. We have some High Templar and a Dark Templar being produced on the front. DeWalt may be using, uh, hoping for a better arc as far as an engagement point. Single uh, worker out there, I think it might have seen that Observer Shimmer, the Observer trailing out. Bonneth, I love that they do this. Just moving out with the single grouping. So only showing three Dragoons and keeping the bulk of that attack force back as to not reveal the, the troop count numbers. Third gate getting tacked on, by the way. And Dark Templar now out on the field. The Observer a little bit out of position to provide support. Is there a second Observer queued up? And I don't see a second Observer queued up as well. So the Observer is actually not going to be... Oh man, that's disastrous. So the Observer is not going to be in support, in position to support, but at the same time, is it going to be necessary even? Because we've got the attack force making its way forward. There is a decent arc, but Psystorm not quite finished. Okay, we got to have one Psystorm here in the space of this to help deal with this Reaver. Defensive pylon now on the front. The Dragoon scattering. And DeWalt now in full retreat. He is going to have two Psystorms right now. And he needs these Psystorms to absolutely land on that Reaver to make a difference. In the meantime, the DT has walked into the main, is starting to hammer away at probes up there. So it's going to be a natural expansion for a main potentially. One side storm landing right there. It looks like a. I think the Dark Templar got killed at the natural expansion. Is the Dark Templar taken care of? The Dark Templar still can hear it killing stuff. More side storm. The shuttle able to get out of the way. So that Nexus going to drop. Dewalt actually in the red but with a massive worker advantage. This is turning into a weird one. The Reaver slamming units uphill with that observer overhead a, a defensive pylon getting dropped as well it's going to be a minute before these high templar have energy to try to negate shuttle down that reaver needs to get picked off if there's any chance and that actually might be it here reaver still stands with two he two health two shield but we got two high templar now dropping some side storm behind this morphing into an archon maybe with a worker pole this is a lot of dragoons left reaver finally taken out but man Dewalt has taken a battering, and Dewalt going to call GG. There's just too many Dragoons, so despite doing some catastrophic damage here in the background, looks like the DT was taken care of in the space of it. I'm curious which Dragoon got the kill. Is it that Dragoon? That Dragoon got the kill. Game 1 goes to Bonneth in a barn burner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.